Good morning, afternoon, or evening, YouTube. It's Andrew from TabletRoms.com, and I've got another treat for you. As you can see, this tablet's seen better days. It's a ViewSonic G-Tab. Um, and, uh, well, we're going to have to open it up and uh, take a look. Now, the screen is broken, and uh, I was going to replace it today, but the part hasn't come yet, so we'll just see about uh, popping it open to see what she looks like on the inside. Now you're going to want to use, of course, your black stick or spudger tool to uh, pop off the back after you've removed those four screws. Um, there are quite a bit of screws and some tape. Uh, we better start off by removing the power cord. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of getting shocked. It's kind of the, uh, you know, perfect end to an awful day. Um, so the, the, uh, the battery pack itself uh, is held in by some tape as I'm sure you can see. You'll want to use your uh, your spudging tool to go ahead and pop off all these various little cords. There's uh, plenty of cords here to the speakers and to the uh, to the cameras and to the various input devices. Um, ooh, now the one that holds in the camera is kind of interesting. It has two little black tabs on either side that you'll need to slide up and then the ribbon cable pops out. All right, so it's go time on that tape. So we'll just go ahead and peel all that back. I like to keep the tape in roughly the same location and orientation that it was previously. Just lifts right out. And uh, let's see, now we're going to have to uh, take out these last couple of connections, like the wireless, little wireless antenna there. And this one here, now this is one of those types of cables that I like to use pliers on. Be very careful. Take your time. This is the video cable that goes to the LCD display. Just nice and careful. Take your time and it'll come right out. So now it's time to take the screws out. Now you should be warned there are different sized screws here. I initially thought I'd put them all in a jar and then I realized they were going to be different sizes so I placed them off to the side in a rough approximation of their position in the board. That way it was easier to remember which ones won't wear. Um, so I would recommend that you do that. It worked pretty darn well for me. All right, now that we've got the last little bit of the uh, of the screws out, just gently lift out that motherboard and place it in an anti-static bag. See, I've got one right there. Alright, be sure to take the last little bits of tape off and make sure you can move these wires around. Um, that's the speaker assembly right there. I spent a little while trying to <laughs> trying to get it out of the way, but uh, no matter. Um, now we're going to take all the screws out for the uh, chassis there that holds the battery in place and also protects the screen from the back. Um, again, I'd recommend setting them in a rough approximation of where they go to make it easier to put them all back, since leaving them in the case isn't exactly an option. But, as you know, it's my first choice. Now, up there in the upper left hand, or uh, uh, let's see, in the top corner, um, there happens to be the, the sensor for the, li the light sensors. Um, and that was, it was really rough to get off. It had some strong tape on it. Um, it's a little, uh, little brown piece right there that I'm fiddling with. Well, you're going to want to take your, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, found a little piece of glass. That's always great. Um, but you're going to want to take your uh, y whatever tool you're using and you're going to want to, uh, to pry that off because, well, it'll keep you from getting the rest of it out. It's attached with some heavy-duty tape. So get in there and be aggressive. Okay, so uh, now this should just lift out. There is a small piece of tape, double-sided tape, that is uh, holding the video cable down there at the bottom, so you'll have to pull that up, but the screen just pretty much lifts straight out. So 
So just a little bit of prying will do the trick. And uh, so the screen, nothing wrong with the LCD. It's great. It's just that broken glass up there. And now, like I said, I should hopefully be getting a return one from the uh, from the manufacturer in the near future, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So that's it, and good luck taking yours apart.